Here we find uh, various exchange interactions. And as I said, the dipole-dipole interaction is so weak to describe the long-range magnetic ordering. And uh, uh, because, but uh, we should consider for the exchange energy like uh, Heisenberg extrusion principle and the Coulomb interaction and also exchange energy concept is de uh, devised from the Heisenberg. And anyway, <coughs> the, the, from the uh, Heisenberg Hamiltonian, if we consider for two, uh, two electrons, the potential energy and the kinetic energy uh, depends on the spin direction. <coughs> Therefore, in this case, uh, in the uh, J value, J value, transport integral, in other words, exchange, exchange interaction or the transport integral is coming from the uh, have uh, information for the potential energy as well as the kinetic energy. And uh, in the potential energy case is that the exchange potential can be calculated like this one and uh, it seems to be a little bit complex but the uh, important thing is that the uh, J value contains the V interaction for two electrons. And therefore two electrons in one quantum, uh, quantum state um, is that the potential energy and the kinetic energy is for the, this value. And also it describes for the kinetic energy interaction. <coughs> Therefore, there is a competition between the potential energy and the kinetic energy. And here, uh, one thing is that the double exchange interaction and the double exchange interaction. Uh, uh, one is that uh, direct exchange interaction. Uh, direct exchange interaction is that uh, direct overlap of, of electrons. And also, and uh, we can say that uh, there is a direct overlap. The interaction, intrinsic pro pro uh, property of the uh, J value can be write down as like uh, <coughs> uh, from the, anyway, and it can be like the, from DR and DR prime. And also <coughs> the basic uh, self energy there is a charge distribution overlap can have the information for the charge distribution for the m m prime state and also star and r and the interaction most important interaction is the Coulomb interaction and therefore e square over r minus r prime and also m prime uh, prime. It is uh, any kind of potential uh, exchange interaction and basically it is uh, Coulomb self-energy and uh, it is uh, information has a Coulomb self-energy when you say that when you calculate for the integral if the if the orbital are orthogonal from the orthogonal overlap the j equal to j, uh, zero Therefore, the charge overlap can consider for the orbital overlap or the uh, orbital overlap. And uh, uh, because direct exchange, exchange, exchange energy is driven by the orb orbital overlap, uh, the, in other words, and uh, in order to have the direct, direct exchange interaction, uh, only have the orbital overlap. It means that uh, in many cases for 4F electrons, 4F electron is very well localized and uh, very well localized electrons and also the heavy elements, heavy elements, uh, the, it is very far from with each other and therefore there is no direct overlap. Uh, especially, as well as that the transition metal case, cobalt ion nickel has a 3D orbitals and the 3D orbitals also has a, uh, it is not a direct exchange interaction because uh, from the realistic calculation, the direct exchange interaction is, is very, interaction is, uh, uh, is very, very short range interaction and also orbital overlap is very difficult and also should have the very mm, uh, short, uh, short distance with each other, ionic. Uh, interaction and also the other interaction is a double exchange interaction 
And double exchange interaction is coming from the Hunt coupling. And uh, double exchange interaction is coming from the Hunt coupling. We already know that the Hunt rule in previous lecture and the first rule is the maximize orbital angular momentum. Second rule is the maximize maximize the spin angular momentum. And third rule is that the J equal to L minus S in less than uh, half field case. And the L plus S, uh, it, the case is that uh, higher than half field case. Uh, therefore, in this case, for example, in a direct double exchange interaction is observed for the transition metals like mangan, for example, mangan cobalt iron. It is uh, some materials may have the double exchange, and uh, we already studied that the uh, transition metal has uh, two easy orbitals and uh, two degenerated easy orbitals and uh, triply degenerated T two G electrons T two G orbitals. For example, mangan 3 plus, mangan 3 plus, the orbital is uh, 3d4, 4 electrons. Uh, the other, uh, in nearest neighbor, in nearest neighbor, the, uh, there is a mangan 4 plus, mangan 4 plus is uh, 3d3 electrons. In this case, yeah, 3d3. Uh, because in this case, because to uh, maximize the L value, and uh, there should have the one, two, three, and four electrons may have this, uh, this like this, <coughs> and mangan four plus. Uh, in this case, three electrons may have the this uh, uh, this one. But in here, oxide uh, mangan three plus and mangan four, pl uh, four plus can. Uh, can transport the electron when we consider for the exchange interaction and exchange means that uh, uh, move move from one side to other side and uh, when you consider for the move move on this on this case then this spin favors this spin can have the have move from this side to this side it is by it becomes a vacant and it, it can be uh, created uh, because in the mangan, it, in this case, it becomes a mangan four plus four plus, and it becomes a mangan mm, three plus, and uh, uh, from the balance fluctuation, it, uh, it means that it is uh, from the balance balance fluctuation, the uh, mm, the higher energy uh, spin can move from one side to other side, and uh, it is uh, from the in terms of Hund coupling, it preserved because the higher it does not violate the Hund coupling, but in this, in some, in other case, in other case, uh, violate the Hund coupling. For example, let's consider the other case with two, it is an EG electron and uh, three T two G electron. Uh, what kind of case? And the uh, mangan three plus. Mangan four plus, and the spin has the four spin one two three four. It is a mangan three plus to preserve the hunt uh, hunt rule. But how about that uh, mangan four plus case? We can consider that the spin direction is different. Then it is uh, antiferromagnetic interaction between mangan. Uh, it is antiferromagnetic interaction between two spin, and it is a ferromagnetic interaction. And also in this case, uh, we can consider the transport, charge transport from this side to this side. Then in this here, uh, if we consider for the spin up transport, then it is uh, it, it violates the Hunt rule because it is a, a L value. L value is that in T two G electron is that the minus three half. It is a two half. Mm, it reduced the uh, total 
uh, it reduced the ang orbital angular momentum. It violates the first law of the Hunt, Hunt rule. There, therefore, it is a prohibited. Uh, therefore, and uh, it is a ferromagnetic decoupling between the mangan 3 plus and mangan 4 plus. It is a metallic. Metallic property can be possible because the, the EG electron can move freely from one side to other side. And uh, in the case of antiferromagnetic interaction, and uh, it is insulator. Insulator for uh, from the uh, prohibition um, for uh, it violates the Hund coupling because of the Hund coupling uh, decreases energy, uh, uh, increases energy. Therefore, it becomes insulator. Therefore, in the double exchange interaction case, uh, the characteristic is the ferromagnetic metal and the antiferromagnetic antiferromagnetic insulator is a double ex it, is, it is a result of the double exchange interaction. Yeah, okay. And we can uh, also uh, the other one is the indirect exchange interaction. Then the, there are several possibilities for the indirect exchange interaction. Uh, basically, double exchange interaction and uh, direct in exchange interaction is kind of direct exchange interaction. It is a uh, orbital and exchange energy occurs between two neighboring atoms. It is a uh, direct exchange interaction. But uh, if the two atoms far uh, far from with each other, then we can we cannot imagine that uh, <coughs> direct exchange interaction. It is because the um, the R value distance is very long. Well, therefore, in this case, the indirect exchange interaction can be possible. <clears throat> One thing is that uh, metallic materials, this metallic magnetism will be separately discussed. And uh, I I, uh, here, I do not describe for the, in detail for the metallic magnetism. I will describe further, as a further, in the metallic magnetism part. And uh, one representative indirect exchange interaction is the IKKY interaction. IKKY interaction. IKKY means that the name of the uh, uh, physicist, Rudman, Hittel, Kashuya, Yoshida interaction. And uh, it is interaction between electron, conduction electron spin and localized spins. And uh, especially IKKY interaction is widely observed in the uh, 4F electrons. 4F electrons are very well localized in an atomic site and very long uh, distance between two ions. But in this case, there is uh, electron in the spin, electronic spin in the conduction electron. And the S1 and S2 is a localized spin for F orbitals, and the uh, spin interaction uh, spin is that uh, uh, conduction electron spin, and the uh, in interaction can be interact with each other, and the uh, localized spin and the uh, itinerant we call it as itinerant electron. Itinerant means that uh, freely move, and the itinerant electron interaction can be possible, but uh, this. This electron, free electron, uh, itinerant electron can also interact with the, the other spins. Therefore, this spin, itinerant electron, move intermediate between two spin interaction by interacting uh, s1 dot s sigma and s2 dot sigma. Therefore, here indeed, this Hamiltonian say that this uh, spin small s means that uh, uh, itinerant spin. And the I side spin and the J side spin can be mediated with a, a, a itinerant spin as an expectation value of the of this wave function. Uh, you cannot remember, I do not remember so this the uh, explicit form of this Hamiltonian. But basic, you you can, you should understand the basic concept of the IKKY interaction. IKKY interaction is the indirect exchange interaction between the two localized spin and the conduction electrons. And therefore, the conduction electron spin can interact from the two spins and the SJ spin, SI, SJ, and the SJ and SI, uh, conduction electronic interaction can have the 
Mm -hmm. In briefly, in briefly, this exchange interaction has a form also. Uh, also have a form of the Heisenberg interaction. Heisenberg interaction, but the basic basic idea is that uh, uh, the uh, mediated conduction electron mediate electronic spin uh, interaction. Uh, but uh, in phenomenological point of view, the theory we can consider for the two spin can interact with each other by the spin transport integral r1 minus r2 like this it is a ikky interaction and uh, uh, in ikky interaction some materials exhibit the ferromagnetic interaction some materials have the antiferromagnetic interaction that's why it is coming from the friedel oscillation and here friedel oscillation means that also will be discussed later in the metallic magnetism but, but when we consider for the one spin a delta functional delta functional magnetic moments delta functional magnetic moments may generate may generate magnetic field around the nucleus or around the uh, atomic background then the atomic the magnetic field oscillate magnetic field oscillates like this kind of this behavior it is uh, it is effect of background uh, we call it is uh, Friedel oscillation. Spin polarization induced localized spin. Localized spin have the this interaction have the magnetic field. Anyway, exchange energy uh, can be, is oscillating from the plus and minus. In the plus region, uh, it is uh, it is uh, kf means the Fermi velocity and uh, r means that. Uh, uh, distance between I ion and J ion and therefore you know, the distance between two ion with respect to the uh, distance and the plus sign and minus sign oscillating plus sign and minus sign minus sign means that uh, minus J value and it is a spin antiferromagnetic interaction and the plus sign means that it is a ferromagnetic interaction therefore uh, ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic interaction it, it, it is depending on the distance between two ions and the free uh, resulting in the free oscillation. It is a result that uh, one electron, uh, one uh, mm, one material is the ferromagnetism and the other material shows the antiferromagnetism. It is very well uh, uh, can be interpreted in terms of free oscillation. Yeah, then the, the other uh, interaction is the super exchange interaction, and the super exchange interaction is uh, developed by the Peter Anderson, Philip Anderson. Philip Anderson is well, a very well known physicist in condensed matter physics, and also, and uh, Philip Anderson say that there is a super um, uh, super exchange. Uh, it is very complex formalism and uh, do not interest. And anyway, basically. The super exchange interaction also exchange interaction like this form, and the uh, super exchange interaction is an indirect exchange interaction, and between uh, non-neighboring magnetic ions, which is mediated by the non-magnetic ions. For example, in a mangan oxide case, mangan three plus and uh, oxygen two minus, mangan four plus, and uh, mangan three plus and mangan four plus are magnetic. Ions and uh, oxygen is not a magnetic ion. It is uh, uh, it is a non-magnetic ion. Magnetic non-magnetic ion is uh, uh, mediated by mediated. And for example, mangan two plus. Mangan two plus and mangan two plus case and the uh, orbital has this kind of the. Uh, easy orbital. There is an easy orbital like this, and uh, but uh, in oxygen, oxygen p orbital, oxygen p orbitals, <coughs> can overlap with a mangan, and uh, to the electron, electron is mediating from the oxygen to mangan, and also. 
I discussed the uh, uh, double exchange interaction. Double exchange interaction do not consider for the oxygen and just only the direct interaction between mangan, uh, mangan, manganic ions. But in the super exchange interaction and uh, non magnetic oxygen uh, mediate, uh, mediate two electrons from the other side to the other side. And therefore, and, uh, this kind of the indirect exchange interaction. The transfer of one electron uh, one electrons in the D shell and partially fill D p orbitals of oxygen. In this case, for example, let's consider for one electron moves from the mangan 2 plus to the mangan uh, oxygen 2 minus, then it becomes oxygen 1 minus and uh, it becomes one mangan uh, plus. And uh, in this case, they in, uh, antiferromagnet, antiferromagnetically interact with each other and uh, uh, in this case, the magnetic interaction between the distance between mangan, the other mangan is very far from with each other, but uh, oxygen may have the orbital overlap generating the indirect exchange interaction. That is the super exchange interaction. But I do not discuss in detail the mathematical formalism. But anyway, the exchange interaction in this case also the, the origin is exchange energy or uh, exchange energy is driven by the Coulomb interaction, especially repulsive Coulomb interaction of two electrons. And uh, and anyway, in here the exchange energy I uh, can write down the exchange energy like this. Integral dr dr prime rho m star and Coulomb interaction r minus r prime at r e square rho r prime. <coughs> It is uh, basically it is uh, Coulomb interaction. Uh, here, this is uh, illustrative for the antiferromagnetic mangan oxide planes and the mangan three plus and mangan three plus mediating the oxygen. In this case, mangan four plus and mangan four plus is mediated by the oxygen two minus, and uh, the interaction between the D uh, easy orbitals, easy orbitals and uh, p orbitals, and uh, here it is well described for the antiferromagnetic interaction in the manganite, manganite case. And also, then the recently, uh, there was a very great interest on the DM interaction. DM interaction is also the name of the physicist. One is that uh, Jayaloshinsky, Jayaloshinsky Moria interaction. DM interaction, Jayaloshinsky Moria interaction. Important thing is that uh, it is an anti symmetric and anisotropic exchange coupling. And uh, basically, uh, from now on, we consider for the spinning exchange interaction S dot, S1 dot, S, uh, SI dot, SJ, like this, is dot product. Dot product means that uh, two electrons have the uh, two electronic projection component is important, but uh, in here the cross product uh, they consider for the cross product uh, cross product and uh, here D dot here D is that uh, Jayaloshinsky Moria vector and uh, Jayaloshinsky Moria vector is proportional to the spin of a coupling constant. Therefore, this DM interaction is observed in the high spin of coupling materials like uh, um, uh, heavy elements. And also, in this case, in the collinear spins, in the collinear spins, there is no DM interaction because in DM interaction, they only consider for the cross product of the two spins and uh, maximize for the 90 degree. Therefore, the canted spin is favored. Canted spin and the off diagonal, off diagonal component of the spin spin 
uh, becomes significant. And also in here, and the one spin is is one is this one. The other spin is this one. And also we can define that uh, s one cross s two. And also here, the a vector means that displacement displacement between the uh, this orbital plane and the displacement a. Therefore, in this case, it is a triangular lattice. There are many cases for the DM interaction in the triangular lattice, and the uh, Triangular lattice, there is a spin structure can be very unstable because up spin and down spin. In the if it is a antiferromagnetic interaction, if this spin has the uh, this one and uh, it is a ferromagnetic interaction, even though it is antiferromagnetic interaction, but when you consider for the di different spin direction, then the it is antiferromagnetic interaction. It is ferromagnetic interaction. Therefore, it is we, we say that it is a spin frustration, and uh, in order to avoid this uh, this kind of spin frustration and uh, off-diagonal spin rotation, can be considered. This kind of off-diagonal spin component generates the DM interaction because this DM Hamiltonian induces the off-diagonal uh, skew symmetric uh, spin component. Uh, therefore, the DM interaction is observed in many uh, spin frustrated system like uh, iron oxide, mangan, cobalt, cobalt uh, carbonate. Uh, also, important thing is multiferrics, and the multiferric is important in DM interaction because why? Why is that? Oh, very complex. Anyway, and also in this case, it uh, DM interaction, DM interaction. Can uh, include a uh, uh, magnetoelectric coupling. It is a magnetoelectric coupling because basically DM interaction is the magnetic coupling, magnetic interaction. But in the, in the polar materials, polar material like uh, oxygen is mangan, and as mangan is uh, three plus, and the oxygen is two minus, and the uh, plus ion and negative anion. May have if there is an this kind of triangular lattice. In this case, there is an a vector. A vector means that in this direction there is an electric field, internal electric field, and the uh, internal electric field, internal polarization. This polar we can define that the uh, polarization vector in here like this. And therefore, the polarization vector uh, can have the have the from the plus to minus, and therefore. In the DM interaction, generating the um, uh, 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 generating the magnet, uh, electric polarization, and uh, also by increasing the magnetic magnetic exchange energy, the electric polarization also enhances. Therefore, we call it is a magnetoelectric coupling. And the magneto from the magnetoelectric coupling and uh, the coexistence of ferromagnetism and di uh, ferroelectric phenomena can coexist, and uh, it is very interesting phenomena. We define uh, define the phenomena as the multiferric multiferric materials. One example is the tobium manganoxide. Tobium manganoxide. Tobium manganoxide spin structure, so spin frustrated system, and tobium is the localized 4F electron. And the mangan oxide has the uh, uh, anyway mangan oxide has the uh, uh, like a uh, uh, triangular lattice and like a uh, it is a spinner structure might be and the spinner structure have the spin frustrated system and spin frustrated interaction generating the DM interaction DM interaction have the oxygen and mangan and the electric polarization enhances. And therefore, from the dielect, uh, from the uh, magnetic properties measurements, and uh, with respect to temperature, by uh, considering the magnetic phase transition near the magnetic phase transition, we can find that the dielectric ferroelectric properties. Therefore, the coexistence between the ferroelectric and the uh, ferromagnetic is very interesting phenomena in multiferric system. Uh, here. We we have briefly studied the origin of various origin of the uh, microscopic origin of the interaction, and also uh, we will I will say that uh, uh, 
in mathematical uh, mathematical formalism how to calculate how to calculate the magnetic interaction.